Welcome back to Pearl 2010 Basic Trading. We've already done our wiping and I've gone back and I've patched all the fixtures and dimmers that I have in my show. So now they're all on this light converse file in here. So the first thing we need to do when we get to our rig in the morning and we turn it on is lamp on all our moving lights. Otherwise we'll get no intensity out of them. So to do that, we select our lights using the blue button. Once they're lit up, we know they're selected. So then we go down to the moving light menu button. We'll go to macro and the lamp on command will appear down here. Now where it is depends on what personality you've got. They'll diff have different macros in depending on what light you have. So once I press lamp on, the macro will run and then after a few minutes, when your light's warmed up enough, you can then use, use the locate button. So when we use locate now, we'll see our rigs warmed up and it's all on. So to control our lights now, once we have them selected with the LEDs on, we can use this attribute bank to control them. So at the minute, we can see that the LED on the dimmer one is lit up. So that means that the dimmer has been assigned to these wheels, so we can control it here. You can see here on the LCD screen, above the first encoder wheel, it says dimmer. As we change that, if we look up on the screen, you can see the lights are getting dimmer and then going out. So, to change different parts of the moving light, for example the colour, I'll go down to my colour mixing. If I press cyan and magenta, it assigns cyan and magenta to the two wheels. So now when I change my magenta value, they're going pink. That works for all the attributes your light has. So if I go down to pan tilt now, it assigns tilt and pan to the wheels. And then when I move the encoder wheel, they'll move together. If I want to control lights individually, all I do is just select a few of them. So to move those two, I press the blue buttons. And now we can see on the screen that those two are moving individually of all the rest. Some attributes won't work if the light doesn't physically have them. So for example, if your light doesn't have a zoom function, so if it's a wash light, you won't get the zoom option on this screen. It's as easy as that.